Hey guys, welcome back to Bruce and Math Club. Today's topic is estimating fractions of sums and differences. Now, we have done an uh, estimating fractions topic video, but today's topics are sums and differences or addition and subtraction, okay? So let's get started. The, uh, let's take the two fractions, which are 3 eighths, okay? And let's add this fraction with 2 six. Now, before we do anything to these fractions, I need you to know that you can only estimate each of these fractions up to three points. What are the three points? The three points are zero, one half, or one, okay? So, first let's take the first fraction, which is three eighths, okay? So, what we need to do for this fraction is we need to create a fraction strip, okay? So let's get a fraction strip. Now break down the denominator so we can make the fractions. So it's eighth, right? So one eight, two eight, three eight, four eight, five eight, six eight, seven eight, and eight eight. Okay. Now what you need to do is you need to add those three points. Okay, remember the three points, and you need to add them in your fraction strip, okay? So, zero will go at the end, I mean at the start, and one will go at the end. Now, remember, I skipped the point. Why? Because I knew that zero will go at the very start. And I need to put the one half right in the middle, okay, right above the four eighths. Next, what you need to do is you need to identify your fraction. So, our fraction is three eighths, okay, and it's right here. Next, you... Um, divide, you divide your fraction strip into two parts, okay? The first part is from 0 to 1 half, the second part is from 1 half to 1. Okay, now you need to identify in which part your fraction is in. Now 3 eighths is in the, um, um, the part 0 to 1 half, right? Okay, next, what you need to do is you need to um, um, make the half of, the, of that part, okay? So you need to make the half of this part. So the half of this part will be right here. Next, you need to identify to which um, which of the two points your fraction is closer to. Is it close to 0 or 1 half? Now, 3 eighths, we know, is closer to 1 half. So, we come back over here, okay? Now, we need to, what we need to do is that we need to keep the 1 half in mind, okay? So, 1 half, let me just write it over here. So we cut this all, all of this out. And we, and we teleport this 1 half all the way up here. Okay, so write it... Uh, exactly underneath the three A's. Okay, now you can also bring down the um, uh, addition sign, okay? Next, you have to estimate the fraction to six. So remember, make a fraction strip. So make a fraction strip. Now, break up the denominator so you can make the fractions. So one six, two six, three six, four six, five six, Six, six. Okay. Next, you need to put in your three points in your fraction strip. So zero will go at the very start, uh, one will go at the very end, and the one half will go right in the middle above three, six. Okay, and as you know, I skipped the uh, point at the start because I knew that zero will go at the start. Next, uh, now you have to identify where your fraction is in your fraction strip, and we know that two, six is right over here. Next, you have to break your fraction strip into two parts. So the first part is 0 to 1 half, the second part is 1 half to 1. Now, you need to identify in which part your fraction is in. Now we know that our fraction, which is 2 6, is in this part. So we can forget about the other part. If you even want, you can erase it, but I'm just going to leave it there and do the erase. Okay, next, you need to divide your, fra uh, your part, okay, your first part, okay, into half, okay. So I'm going to divide this into half, and the half will be right here. Now you need to identify into which, which of the two points your fraction is closer to. Is it closer to 0 or 1 half? We really know that 2 6 is closer to 1 half, okay? So we come back over here. Now keep 1 half in mind, okay? We put it over here. Okay, so we can erase all of this. And now you have to teleport the 1 half all the way up here, right underneath the 2 6. So one half and one half. Now we have a new addition problem, which is one half plus one half. Now we know from our prior knowledge that one half plus one half is one. So we now we bring this uh, estimated sum up here too as well. Okay. So the estimated sum 
for the fraction, for, for the two fractions, 3 eighths and 2 sixths is 1. Okay, now let's do another problem. This time we'll use subtraction. So let's take the two fractions, um, 3 nines, and uh, wait. Let, let's make the 3 tenths, and let's subtract this fraction with uh, 2 fourths. Okay, so remember, the first thing you need to do is uh, make a fraction strip for each fraction, and keep in mind that you can only as estimate each fraction uh, to three parts, okay? So make a fraction strip for the first fraction, which is three tenths. Okay, now break the denominator so you can make the fractions. So one tenth, okay? Two tenths, three tenths, four tenths, Five tenths, six tenths, seven tenths, eight tenths, nine tenths, and ten tenths. Okay, so then well, next what you need to do is you need to take the three points, okay, which you can estimate to, and you need to put it in your fraction strip. So zero will go at the very start, okay. One will go at the very end, and one half will go right in the middle. Okay. Okay. So next thing you need to do is you need to break your fraction strip into two parts. Okay. So the first part is going to be from zero, zero to one half. The second part is going to be from one half to one. Okay. Now, next what you need to do is identify where your fraction is in your fraction strip, which is over here, and then you have to identify in which part your fraction is in, okay, which is from 0, okay, to 1 half. Next, what you need to do is you need to divide your uh, a part into half, okay, so you divide your part into half, and we know that the half will go um, somewhere over here. Now, next thing you need to do is you need to identify to which of the two points your fraction is closer to, okay? And we know that our fraction is going to be closer to one half since it is on the other, uh, on the one half side of the uh, two, uh, uh, divided part, okay? So, we come back over here, okay? Now, remember, um, keep in mind of the one half, okay? So, we can erase all of this right now. And we come back over here, and we write one half. Okay, so we teleport this one half right under the three tenths. We can bring down that subtraction sign. Now let's estimate the fraction to fourth. So we make a fraction strip. Okay, and now we uh, um, break the denominator to make the fractions. So one fourth, two fourths, three fourths, four fourths, and that's it. Next, you need to put in your um, three points, okay, in your fraction strip. So zero will go over here, one will, uh, zero will go at the very start, one will go at the very end, and one half will go right in the middle. Next, um, identify your, fra um, your fraction in your fraction strip, which is right over here. Okay, and then you need to, um, well, here's the thing. If your fraction is in right in the middle, okay, and you know it's right above, uh, right under the one half, then you don't even need to do any uh, dividing into two parts or anything like that. So now you just simply know that your fraction is better um, estimated to one half, okay, because it's right underneath the one half, okay. So what you, what you, need, well, what you, you need to do is keep the one half in mind, okay. So you can erase all of that. Now teleport this one half to over here. So one half. So now you have your new problem, which is one half subtracted by one half. And our prior, in which our prior knowledge, we know that kindergarten math one half minus one half is zero. So we take this same same um uh, uh, quotient. I mean same difference. And you come back over here and we write it over here. So now we know that the estimated difference for the two fractions, 3 tenths and 2 fourths, is 0. Okay, so that's that for estimating fractions of sums and differences. And hope you guys enjoyed it and we will see you guys next time. Bye.